Hello YouTube and welcome back to my second ever video, so yeah, let's go on to these figures and before we do that, like, subscribe, do all the usual stuff that you want to do on YouTube and yeah, let's continue with the video so we're going to be taking a look at the Coal Hill School collector set that was released uh, December uh, last year, but um, no, actually that won't go down because we're in March by the time I'm filming this, so um, and the time we upload it usually will probably be March. Uh, okay, so we're going to be looking at these two figures, and we're going to start off with the Dalek because we're going to leave the best figure. I've always wanted an Ace figure, and we just track one down, but head sculpt on that is so accurate. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to be taking a look at the Dalek. Now this Dalek, I really like this Dalek. It's great and highly articulated. And it's the same sculpt as most of the other Daleks. But, yes, it is amazing. I've always wanted to get my hands on one of these Daleks. But I think, uh, a year, many years ago, I wanted one. But, uh, I don't think I could... Hunt one down because they're rather rare and exclusive, which is nice to get my hands on this figure. Because I remember seeing the prototype image for this, which was great. Seeing the prototype image for this, but now I've got an actual official one instead of trying to find one on eBay that cost a fortune. We're going to be reviewing it. So let's go on to the figure itself. So Turning to articulation, the head can do a side to side turn, which is actually quite really good. Side to side turn, so it goes side to side. Ice stalk goes up and down, but this is a bit wobbly, so I won't try to do that much. It'll probably break the ice stalk. The plunger is on a ball joint, the same as Dark Blaster Gun, which is quite good. Blaster Gun? Well, it's a gun. Yeah, okay. So, the balls are very nice in this sort of shiny uh, um, gold pattern, which is quite nice, and also the tan colour. Uh, yeah, and the base looks a bit like it's got another plinth added on, which is quite nice. Then all the legal rubbish and uh, the wheels, the three wheels. <laughs> Displays quite nicely with uh, 7th Doctor and Ace, and it's quite good uh, to get your hands on. And I think it is a great figure to have. Well, if you call it a figure, you can call the style it's an actual figure instead of because a figure normally is referred to as a humanoid. Um, but yeah, are we removing this? So overall, out of ten, I give that figure. I'll give this figure. Sorry, I took it away then. Uh, I'll give this figure ten out of ten because I've always wanted to get my hands on it, and it's highly detailed, even with the pupil and everything. So. We've been moving on to what I've always wanted, an ace figure. Let's go with my Sylvester, because my Sylvester's been a bit lonely, but never been able to find an actual um, ace figure. So, unless you get my stand-in Ben Miller figure, custom I used. Um, okay, so, we're going to be looking at uh, ace's accessories first. Uh, if I just remove them, I'm on the floor there, and yeah, okay. Once we get that ready, uh, it's going to be great, because we're going to be uh, removing the backpack, which uh, I've only just learned how to remove, so that's quite good, and so, there we are, there we are, have Ace, you know, there, without the jacket on, which looks a bit unusual, but we're going to put her over there, so, we start off with the backpack, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but very good, oh, <laughs> Ace is over, Okay, so we're going to be looking at the bag. So the bag is um, quite good. I like it, the design of the bag. Quite nice. I think there is supposed to be a removable panel on the back, but because this is a B&M one, I think they might have just sculpted it all in one. Which I think they actually might have done, because it didn't come with any Nitro 9. I think that's only exclusive to the clamshell packet, I think. It was recently on Forbidden Planet, I think. But, yeah, this is uh, really good with the nice crinkled Reese material that they've done on character. And also some legal rubbish. They like to fit this in wherever they can. 
Uh, overall, it's really good. Shame didn't, she didn't come with a baseball bat, but she used to beat the darling, which would be much better. But, okay, let's put it down. Alright, we'll be moving on to the main accessory. The main thing that people want to get more is uh, this. I think this was released only the once. But it's great to have it again. I think the Ace figure was released about twice. But this is the third issue. So we're going to be removing the pieces. Just give me a minute. Yep, you had it. Okay. So the uh, top bit is removable. Exposing the... The stalk, which is present in the story, uh, Remembrance of the Daleks, and um, here's the end, end cap just pops off there, which is really great if you want to use it just to do what you want with it, but I feel like that is a great show that for the character options, if they can actually do something like that, it's very good, so, let's put the stuff down, onto the ace figure herself, uh, so, uh, from this shit, uh, if you look at head sculpt, much better done. Definitely looks like Sophie Aldred or Aldred, however you want to say her name. I, I think it definitely looks like her so much, um, which is a great thing to have. The Ace logo is present on the back, which is great. The Ace logo, which is really great. Um, the ponytail. That's all sculpted really nicely. Definitely looks like her. Um, right from the get-go, uh, everything is sculpted really well. So the body is sculpted in this black plastic. So the shoes are painted this glossy black. The leggings are really good. And so is the skirt. The skirt's got this crinkled material and looks really good. So accurate to how she has it in the series. And uh, also the... Uh, the, however it can focus the jacket. Yeah. Don't know where it can on camera. But uh, it's got all the badges present. Oh, it's focused now. Got all the badges present and everything, which is really great attention to detail. A character can do this and pull it off in a B&M set, which is, I think this figure is actually much better than the standard release, so I'm actually glad to get that. And also the jacket's got the... T-shirt underneath, which would be, uh, I think that's accurate to the story, I think, I'm not sure, I think it was, I think it was only last year I watched, um, The Remembrance of the Daleks, um, so, that, um, so, jacket exposures, because I, I think there was a, a pull-out arm one you could get, so you could swap the arms over, shoes are great, and, um, and, yeah, let's move on to articulation now. Stop talking about her clothes and uh, all the great detail. Ah, so the head can just swivel from side to side. Uh, the arms can go up to 90 degrees and have the swivel on the side. Uh, they come in like that. The hands I wouldn't advise to move, they don't move that much. And same is present on the other side. So on the leg here does this move side to side and bend at 90 degrees. The boots don't move, which is a bit of shame, but it don't matter. And uh, yeah, I think the uh, torso piece moves a little bit. Not that much. And the rucksack, you can always put it back on if you prefer ace that way, which um, I think most people prefer uh, with the backpack on. I know I certainly do, because it looks much, 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 much better. I think about a million times better with the rucksack on. That's how she was released in the packet. <laughs> don't think she was trying to fall over, but then this figure sometimes is a bit unsturdy. Uh, you can't really see the darkness very well there. I think the camera's playing up. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks much better there. You can see all the details there. Even their little blue earrings, I think they're blue on the side. They look really good. And, yeah, I think the, the Dalek when it comes in, the back looks like she's running away from you. Would be, would have been so, so lovely if they were to have included a baseball bat with this, which would have been much better than using the blaster. But, yeah, and also when you put, compare... We add in Sylvester McCoy here. This was a recent addition to my collection. Why does Ace keep on falling down? 
There must be some kind of something wrong with the legs, I think. Um, no, but when you add a next to uh, the doctor, it kind of looks great. Face it was always get blurry, but looks really good there and present. And um, yeah, and especially with the um, if you add in the TARDIS here, which I've had knocking around for years. Uh, and now this is the uh, rare one that was released, I think 2009 or 2010, which I've got on my shelf collection, which is quite good. It did come with the brown suit jacket one, but I didn't want to use that in this video because it's not very present, is it? Because... So, let's move that out of the way, and that is great. Now we're going to move on to the box with the last couple of minutes before my camera dies out. So, the box is very good. I hope we don't run out of screen time. Okay, so, yes, this is the box. Present with the limitation gold foil sticker. Cole Hill School collector set, collector figure set. Uh, uh, remember it's with the Daleks, uh, 1988. They got that right on this time, instead of saying uh, they actually got the year right, 1988. Which, before that, on my Magician's Apprentice set, they put 1988. Don't know why, and then just that TARDIS box on the side. And then Ace, uh, blah, blah, blah. Why of what the figure's about. Uh, then, just Ace and the Dalek, which is quite good. And then, just a whole blurb. Sorry about that. A whole blurb about Remembrance of the Daleks. And then on the side, oh sorry my room looks a bit messy, uh, then they just uh, straightforward TARDIS on the front and then the front. Now, of course everyone probably knows that it came here with a backdrop, which I'm pretty sure most people know that by now. So, you just lift it up into the light, if you can pretty sure you can see it. So there is the backdrop, which is really great, really great. With the thing where they meet the head teacher from Grain Show, I think it is. Which is great to do that. And also plastic present there, which is really good. So that's the plastic that came out of the box. Well, so that is all I have got time for today. That's all I've got time for today. Hope you uh, see me next time when I may be doing a history video or not. Maybe not a history video. Either a history video or a custom figure video, which will be interesting, on my Ben Miller action figure, also known as Richard Paul from Death in Paradise. Hope you stay tuned for that, and I will be playing some funky tunes to go along with it, which will be nice to get the um, feel. And um, see you later, and subscribe, and I'm just going to say this right now. I will salute you for doing all of this work. For watching this video, please subscribe and goodbye.